Let's just go to the next floor. Because we didn't actually get any more points. Or points? Parts? Wait. What? Is it a second dad floor? No. It's not. Ah! 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 Okay, we're good. Whoa. What is that? Haley Holy. Ah! 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 I was not expecting it to be screechy. Hampshire is maybe Indian? Because I know Scimitar is more of like a Middle Eastern thing. There's a radish with wings. I just was not expecting any of that. The antidote drink, that's good stuff. Shiny stone. I wonder if a lot of these are actually crafting components, like gems and stuff. Because I swear I've gotten a lot of shiny stones and I have not seen where they've ended up. Or are the shiny stones for the. No, the shiny stones probably for the owl. You old man. I I'm off put by them because I don't know how they attack. I mostly just run up and murder them. Like most enemies at least have a chance, but these things are just like ah! Ah! and then they're dead. And then there's nothing left. Ow! Big rude. Fine. Barely does damage to me. Grand scheme of things. There we go. Let me grab the water while we're at it. Ah. Okay, if I remember right, mimics are like weirdly hard on weapons. Until you delete them from existence, and then they're not a problem. There we go. Huge fan of the hand and half sword. Is the hand and the half hand and a half sword the same as a Zweihander? No, Zweihander means two-hander. So I guess not the same. I'm a big fan of the uh the Zweihander. Mostly as a result of Dark Souls. Ah! Ah! Okay. The Haley Holy still weirds me out a little bit. But at least I understand it now. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Oh, we have not actually put anything in it. What does this thing need again? Oh, it needs anti plant and more thunder. Well, if we. Have we picked up more anti plants? Nope. More thunder it gets then. I forgot. Hopefully the Haley Holy give me the rest of what I need. Uh, upgrade confirmed? Yeah. This is gonna take a little while. Okay. Still need more thunder. Oh boy. I mean, I should be using gems for this, but. Guess I don't have a choice. That's repair it while we're here. Hey, thank you, William Reed, for gifting a Penta a sub. Thanks so much. I have one of these has got to be a mimic. Ah, ah. Bastard sword is a hen and half sword. There we go. My problem is my my knowledge of armaments comes almost exclusively from video games. And for medieval, like, European weaponry, it's pretty much just either Dungeons and Dragons or, uh, or Dark Souls. And so anything that is not part of those, we like, weapon lists or part of those games just absolutely does not register for me. Oh, 
Huh, none of those were a mimic. Weird. Okay, I'm very glad we went to this forest as it is much better grinding than the first dungeon. Come here, you weird old radish strawberry helicopter. Ah! Never mind. I guess I was a little off on my mimic predictions. You know what game? Uh, what blew my mind as far as like medieval weaponry is when I heard uh, heard that like medieval knights and stuff would flip their swords around and hit people with the hilts. I still can't get over that as like a conceptual thing. I've cut my hands open on more than a few knives at this point in my life, and so anytime the idea of like flipping a sword over and then using using the sharp edge and like holding that and hitting enemies with uh, hitting your foes. With the hilt, like it makes sense from a hammer perspective, like a lot of sense actually. Oops. Right. But I just cannot help but think of like cutting my hands open and trying to hit an enemy with it. They did wear hefty gloves. Oh, absolutely. But I just like it freaks me out all the same. And yeah, swords actually weren't that sharp. You're just hitting them hard enough to pierce. Yep. I mean, the. I'd say the. Okay, floating leaf glowing mysteriously. I. Oh, wait, what if it's the sundew? Aha! It's called the murder stroke. You can do it in Mordhau. I, I remember playing uh, Kingdom. Kingdom Come Deliverance, I believe is the thing. And seeing the, the dad swinging the sword around backwards, I was like, what? Like, I knew it was a thing, I'd just never seen it before. Ooh, it's darker on the backside here. I like that. It's darker and it's got witches. Alright. Witches get stones to the face. Ah! Holy shit, they are durable. Ah! And they throw poisonous apples. I made the right choice of not engaging them in melee. Kingdom Come, Come Deliverance is incredible. We'll return it to it someday. I want to. I just... I remember when it first came out, it barely ran on my PC. And so it just was, like, not worth my time. I tried. I tried so hard to get it working. And then eventually just kind of gave up on it. It kind of ranks in the same vein as, like... Uh, what's, what are a couple other good ones? I mean, Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, Project Zomboid, uh, Kenshi, and like a few others of those slightly more realistic sim kind of games where if you really invest your like time and effort into them, they're incredible, but the, uh, like if you do not have that time to invest, you can't just play them casually. I'm so much more of a just like play a game casually for a little while. Members of the Wholesomeverse Live, uh, Wholesomeverse jumping in the Zomboid has blown my mind. I never thought I'd see the day. I, I think it's come up in conversation a couple of times, uh, as far as like what to do for Wholesomeverse Live. We're just, uh, leery about. Okay, it's just a mushroom. Uh, leery about trying to do, like, series stuff as a stream. But I, I think it would be great. Ow. Ow! Okay, never mind. We are not finding, fighting a damn thing with Cromsh. He is just going to get two shots. Yeah, I've been... Meaning to pop it open just so I could do a, a one-off on it, at least for YouTube, just to get my feet wet. Figure out what it's about. Thumbwood seems to be the new hotness now that it's multiplayer. I think it always had multiplayer. The multiplayer was just incredibly janky. I could be wrong. Wait, 
Looking at the patch notes for vampire survivors, the devs specifically mentioned Wander. Aww. Bomb nuts. Estol is nuts. Actually, we should probably just keep leveling this slingshot now I'm thinking about it. Oof. Old multiplayer was a nid. Nid? Well, I'm gonna have endless amounts of poisonous apples by the time I'm done. Ah! Holy shit, she just like whipped around and is like, ah! I'm gonna waste a lot of ammo trying to hit her. On the plus side, when I finally get to sell them, I'll be rich. Zomboid's a direct analog of Tarkov. Very similar grinding to loot, but it's multiplayer is wild and fun. Yeah, I... Mm. I know Tarkov has come up as like one of those that I would enjoy, and I absolutely know I would. I just also know... In, uh, do I do it? ABS became full. Eh, I'll take it. Upgrade. This is going to take a while. Okay, so what do you what do you need again? More attack, more mana. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got any more mana. We'll just maybe go attack. Well, attack, mana, fire. We've got wind. And then dinosaurs, beasts, birds, fish, and plants. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of plants, aren't I? good if I want to be anti-bird. It's better. That's Metal Breaker. Dragon Slayer? Yeah. Let's go with that. Oh. And I have upgrade powder. Do I want to just... Sure. What do you use for ammo in this game? Just durability. Right, build up again. Okay, so now we've got the damage. We still need fire. And we still need more bird. Wow. Okay. Well, this one was good against birds. And also more wind. Eh, I'll take it. Let's see, another Dragon Slayer. Did we need metal? I gotta double check that. No, we needed fish. Fish, beasts, and plants. Oh, well, we don't have those. But we needed fire anyway. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right, there we go. Yeah, hopefully we can get some more plant stones somewhere along the way here. Hopefully we can get a vendor that just sells the basic stones. I don't mind doing the grinding, I just hate having to wait for RNG. Alright, fire gem. Let's get out of here. But yeah, as far as Starkov goes, I, I think I'm going to wait for this cycle before I try and dive into a game in that general genre. That, and I also very much want to finish Final Fantasy XIV, so that's no longer lurking over my head. I haven't streamed or well, I guess I've been recording it, not as a series, but just to have the footage. But, I've just been going through that game on my own for quite some time now, and let me tell you, it is not a fast playthrough. And so I feel like once I'm done with that, then I'll finally kind of feel like like, I'm kind of free. I have some free time to spend on other projects. And playing just other stuff. That's a brutal investment. Zomboid's more manageable from a... a uh, go-as-you-go type game. Especially if we wanted to do something kind of fun like, you know, a fully hardcore series. Because... I, I love the idea of that, and I'd probably get really hard into uh, Zomboid if we did that. 
where it's just like, hey, we're going to be playing... What the hell? Oh, here it is. Uh, a, an idea of a series where, like, if you're dead, you're gone. Like, that's it for you on the series. I can see that getting really kind of dismal if you're really good at the game and you're, like, the only one left. But that would be fun as heck to watch. I, I've always wanted to do a couple of hardcore kind of challenges with people. Because um, I also really wanted to do one with Diablo back before Blizzard started getting hit by allegations left and right. But I, I still have that idea in my head of like a, a hardcore playthrough of a you know, a Diablo-style action RPG where, yeah, if you're, if you're dead, you're out, and it's everybody trying to race to the end while also not dying uh, to work together, because I think that would be really cool. <laughs> hardcore Tarkov. <laughs> That'd be funny. But a uh, permadeath race. Kind of, except for I, th I think it would be, like, inherit inherently cooperative. So, like, everybody would be working together. Like, you don't want everybody to die. Let's see, do we want to go fight those mimics? I guess so. I guess I'll eat the cannibal plant too. Eat, kill, eh. The other thing that's been, I guess, a, a bit of a secret blessing for me lately uh, has been, I, I recently made the executive decision to stop putting out so many YouTube videos, which, I mean, going from, like, seven down to four probably still sounds kind of nonsense to most people, but I record so much, like, I've just got that much footage lying around, uh, but as a result, I actually have, like, gobs of free time that I can just spend on things. And so I'm kind of excited to try and start leveraging that bit this year. Just gotta do house hunting first. Might actually take, like, the whole damn year. I was talking to V about it, and he's like, Yeah, it took us, like, over a year to find a house. It's like, oh, that's terrifying. Last Epoch or Grim Dawn would be where I'd be looking for the Air RPG space. Say Path of Exile, but we'll see what direction they go with PoE 2. I feel like the problem with Path of Exile trying to do a hardcore uh, race for that is... I think the community around PoE would be less friendly about it if people didn't know what they were doing. I could be wrong on that one, but I, I know I've, I've done a couple of series now, and I shied away because a lot of the response was very immediately critical in a way that I was not expecting, whereas Grim Dawn was much more like, oh man, that's your build? Here's my build. And that was, like, much more the feeling I was looking for. Not sure how I feel about Last Epoch. I don't know if you like respecking on it and it feels kind of static. I loved the first hour that I played of it. It looks really cool. But I'd have to put some more time into it. Path of Exile and Diablo 3 community are very aggressive about stuff like that. Yeah. I... Ugh. I don't know. I had my fill of that with Slay the Spire and a couple other deck builders. Most recently, I, I stopped playing Inscription because the, uh, the audience around it was starting to discover the meta in a bad way. And we're getting real mad if you diverged from what they saw as, like, a really good idea. Uh, or, like, what you should be doing or shouldn't be doing. Uh, let's see. And I can, I can work with that a little bit here and there, but if it gets, like, aggressive to the point where it's, like, half the comics, it's like, no, I'm gone. I can't do that. I've tried. Do we, have we still not figured... Uh, well, at least we can get Pow's house. Oh, we know. We already have Pow's house. Really? Wait. Assemble parts? 
Georama parts in edit mode done. Oh, damn it. That's what I'm doing wrong. Just put him here. How the hell do you? Oh gosh, is this another one of those kind of jerk? Yep, I'm gonna have to give this guy stairs. Well, you really have to invest pretty hard into this town before you can even access any of these. Hey, check this out. I hope I can't get in my house. You don't seem to be from around here. Well. If you're new here, you should go see the tree in first. I did. What do you need for your house? I start to feel restless when I don't have my laundry hung up on the clothesline. Can you do something about that? <laughs> Just do my laundry. Of course. Just need another torchlight that isn't Torchlight 3. Need another colorful ARPG. Yeah! I I love Torchlight uh, 1 and 2. I thought they were great. I honestly... Hot take, I actually rather enjoyed Torchlight 3. It was objectively worse than Torchlight 1 and 2, but it was not as bad as I think everybody was reacting to it being. What the hell? Earth. What the shit? This thing is huge. Why? What? I'll just plonk it there. I just... Let's not talk about that. Uh, how's my inventory doing? I'm at 42 out of 46, and I've got a lot of random gunk, and I, I'm running a little bit low on repair tools. Eh, no, not really, actually. I think I'm fine. i got a lot of stuff to sell, but I'm just... I'm hoping we get that owl staircase so I can actually do shit about it. Is your village just needs a hill. No, honestly, I appreciate it. It's just big. The one thing that always surprises me with, like, Diablo-style action RPGs is how few of them there are. Like, I was kind of assuming with all of the news... I mean, kind of with the slow decline of stolen money may be returned to holy how much money do I have eh, 716 that's not so bad it's one of those genres that doesn't uh, change too much and there's like surprisingly few games that actually get entered into the market I feel like with how Diablo like especially how it took them forever to even make anything for well like Diablo 3 came out 10 years ago or close to I forgot I forget exactly when it came out it was it was when I was in college and then the years on that was are like a little bit of a blur okay you're the one that throws the fruit okay so we gotta we gotta kill this guy another way 2012 so 10 years okay Gotta get that, get rid of that guy, so we don't have to worry about it. Think. Okay. So the stinger is probably how you get poison from those. And let's repair this, so we don't have to listen to the beepity boops. There we go. Got it. And what do you have? Oh, this is it. That. Mimic locks. There's a chest key? I don't have any. Eyes. Guess the trap. Curse! There's an explosion! Ow. That's barely it. Gotta be alive. Refuse to believe that. Nah. Explosion! Oh. It's a crunch weapon. Can't use it. Ah. Uh... Shoot? Uh, dang. Can I, okay, good. I can trash one of these. I guess I'm just going to get rid of a Gladius.
Because it is a Buster Sword. Oh. When I saw a Buster Sword, I was expecting it to be bigger. Oh well. It's fine. Okay. Maybe MMOs kind of came in as an alternative to ARPGs. We're like, I want a new ARPG and we've got a new ARP or your ARPG at home and it's wow. Maybe. I I could see that that ARPGs were kind of pushed out pretty quickly by MMOs. Because they fill similar roles in terms of like people's psyches? I guess? Because MMO, you find shiny new thing, and you're like, oh, shiny new thing. And then kind of rinse, repeat that forever. And it's kind of the same deal with, uh, with MMOs. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know how many of you guys played Darksiders Genesis. This might be a bit of a hot take, but when that game came out, I was like, oh, this is like the future of action RPGs. I still legitimately believe that for, like, the Diablo-style ones. Like, boy, if you could get a Darksiders Genesis that has kind of more of the flexible builds uh, available in, say, the Grim Dawn or Diablo or something like that, you would absolutely have a winner on your hands. Okay, let's go back to this one. Looks like I want to level this Chris Knife up sooner than later. Because if I can max it out, then we can potentially stats take it into something else. I wonder what they're going to do next with Darksiders. I'm really curious about that one. Uh, largely because I'm I'm not sure what's even going to happen in that regard. Because I know Airship Syndicate was recently hired specifically to do uh, Ruined King. And so I don't know how busy they're going to be with other products. Or if they're actually going to be working on more Darksiders as well. Because I also know uh, Gunfire Games Ow. I know Gunfire Games, the people that made Darksiders 3 Darksiders 3 didn't go so hot for them but Remnant from the Ashes went like incredibly well and so that might be their like new focus after this. So I don't really know. to get much less loot for but for it to be more meaningful the fact that you need a loot filter to hide 70 percent of uh percent of the loot because there's literally no way for it to be, provide meaningful value is incredibly aggravating if you could have a diablo uh like a an action rpg that has leveling weapons like this game i think that could be really interesting like what if you had your characters build and then maybe like only a handful of weapons or yeah maybe only a handful of weapons but the weapons leveled up and upgraded in the same way but kind of on their own path so you could kind of mix and match as like you know a weapon for different occasions but having really focused and interesting builds I don't know damn it how is this guy thirsty again already I thought I went for a dip just like a second ago. I a few JRPGs that did that, but it would be nice in ARPGs. Yeah, because, like, I like walk, like killing a boss and having them explode into a confetti shower of loot, but that only works for maybe, like, two bosses. And then after a while, you lose interest. Check your weapon effects. Oh, you're right. Uh. Holy? I. Yeah, it's gotta be this weapon. Or is it a special floor? Ah! Limited zone characters get thirsty faster. It's not the weapon. It's 
where I am. I'd love to have someone take the GW approach. The weapons and skills, but give each weapon a skill tree. Yeah, exactly. So are the dungeons random? Yeah, they're randomly generated. They're not, like, overwhelmingly random. Like, the, the layout and the monster pool it pulls from are generally always about the same, but not quite the same. But you'll almost always see the same rooms over and over again, configured with the same enemies. It's not that exciting. But it works for this game. How the hell did I not notice that I was just draining thirst for this entire dungeon up until the end? Oh, doesn't really matter. At least they gave me a pair of water pools just for this ex exact purpose. Yeah, the game is from 2001, so it's still amazing. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I'm nothing short of impressed by everything I've seen so far. Obviously, it's a little clunky, and just, like I'm really looking forward to the second to see... Uh, you know, how much they improved the formula. There we go. I, I sometimes wonder... Uh, did, yeah, I actually did get a lot of orbs. I sometimes wonder, for the gaming industry and, like, gaming in general, if things would have been a... If things would have been better if, like, Square Enix and Final Fantasy hadn't just taken the crown. If that makes sense. Because I know for a number of people, there was always kind of this prevailing... Ah, here we go. Finally. There's always kind of that prevailing feeling of, like, it's not worth it unless it's Final Fantasy. That always bugged me a little bit, Annie. Same mask as Rose. Huh. Also build up Pow's house. Perfect. Okay, got those. Don't know what the owl needs. Did we get some more river? The answer is no. Uh, let's just go over here. Bread. I think that would happen with any big game. No, it's fair. I'm just thinking of, like, this game or a lot of Diablo likes. That... Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll get it after this. Hey, there you are. Come sit here. Check out my pot. Finally, I can settle down. And here we owe it to you. Stay for a meal. I'll cook something special. Ugh, I'm full. So, have you found the Moon People's village yet? I see. Wise Owl's forest is really big, so it might not be so easy to find. Oh, well, don't get discouraged. Take it easy and don't rush. Cheer up, I'll give you this. Fruit of Eden. Ayy. Good luck. Bye. Uh, let's see. A lot of cult classics that resulted from it. Uh, they could have been amazing series. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, right. Especially PS2 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just... I wish a lot of these cult classics had had more of that success so that they could have carried on. Because, you know, playing Final Fantasy recently has been, I mean, kind of very refreshing just seeing how the games have developed over the years. But there's some part of me that's like, too many games are based on this formula. Uh, specifically, I was playing... Bravely Default 2, uh, and kind of an effort to see, like, hey, uh, eh, I guess we'll just wait on that one. Or, no, we wanted to, we wanted to boost this one. Customize. Grab the plants. Um, but I, I wanted to play through, like, a number of the games that people thought were great from last year. And, like, I liked Bravely Default, it wasn't bad. But there's definitely kind of a feeling of, like, this is way too attached to the Final Fantasy um, formula. And I think there's kind of a comfort food aspect to that. But at the same time, it makes me sad that, like, games like this, for example, never had quite the level of success. Because I would have gone 
absolutely bananas to see some more like modern takes on this formula, for example. Dark Cloud 2 is prettier and Chronicle is even better. Chronicle? Uh, I don't actually know if I've heard of that one. Or am I just like absolutely mistaking it? Let's give her the gourd. Spread it out a little bit. Oh, Chronicle is Dark Cloud 2, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we want to go over here. The mayor. Here's the question. Is there any secret chests up here? Nope. Alright, mayor. Mayor! Nah, it's you. Come closer. Take a seat. Uh, what should we talk about today? As promised, I will tell you anything. Village's history. Uh, this is called the Matataki Village. How it came to be called that. Let's see. Can't remember how it got its name. I'm getting old. Mayor's youth. Me? I was one hell of a guy. For one thing, I won the post as village chief on my own. Probably not even Fudo would have been a match for me back then. About Fudo? Fudo. He was the strongest hunter. Invincible was the word for him. No one could beat him until five years ago, that is. He just disappeared, leaving his only son all alone. Fudo's son. He has a gentle nature. A bit chubby, but he has the instincts of a hunter. He's Fudo's son, after all. He could become a great hunter. But there's no hope with him being the way he is now. The way Fudo disappeared, or the day Fudo disappeared, his heart became covered with thick ice. How can we melt the ice in his heart? I'm quite eloquent, eloquent, aren't I? Bye. Oh, that's enough for now, eh? I'll come back whenever you feel like hearing stories from me. Here's a gift. Another gourd. Hell yeah. Okay. At least that about Lufia got butcher butchered. Had a the puzzle aspect of games like Zelda, with hookshots and gem statue puzzles, but combat like Final Fantasy. Whoa. Yeah, never heard about that one. Okay. There it is. I saw this during the- hey, Beast Buster. Good stuff. Anything else? Nope, we're done. Unless there's something behind one of these curtains. It doesn't look like it. Alright, off we go. And remember to drink some water, otherwise I'm going to lose my voice. Ah. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, like, I absolutely adore the Final Fantasy games. And a lot of other JRPGs, but, you know, playing stuff like this is just like, oh, but what if... What if this had had as much success? What would have changed about the games that we play today? Okay, where's the owl? There you are. Hoo hoo hoo! I see your new face. I, Mr. Mustache. I own this store. Welcome, who? What do you need for your house? I need an entrance to my store. A roof at the top, too. And a sign is a must, too, for a business. Like a sign at, on top of the roof. A place that attracts attention is good. Who? How should I build the village? Well, thanks for asking. Now listen care carefully. It's not going to be an easy one. I need water all around this store. Who? Got it? Who? Oh, boy. I should probably do those requests. Hello. Rare weapons exist as well. Once you acquire them, take good care not to break them. So you may never see another one. Who? Okay, so it doesn't look like I can buy from this guy until the store is done. Nuts. Yeah, weirdly, Square Enix's success has even caused their own other franchise issues, too. Sadly. Yeah. I I keep hearing people talking about Vagrant Story being good. That one's like super high on my list of like, hey, put some time into this. When you have the spare time to buy a uh time and space to buy a PS3. Let's see. Wisel entrance and sign. Oh, never mind, I guess we had all the stuff uh all the requisite stuff. Hell yeah. 
Anything else? No. Oop. Hello. Ooh hoo hoo. Wise Owl Shop is open after remodeling too. I certainly appreciate all you've done, sir. Who? All right. Ooh, just for you, sir. A special discount offer. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Just a minute. Ooh. Don't misunderstand. I didn't say it was free. Who? Still have to charge you. Who? But I'll give you a discount price. Who? Okay, good. Because I'm out of inventory space. Let me see. How about five thousand gilda? Who? Still too high. Who? Hmm. How about 2,500 gilda? Special price, who? A real discount price, too. It's below cost, too, who? Can't sell it for one gilda less than this, who? It's the old, not the only item here, either. Buy all you need, who? Good. I was actually really afraid for a second because I need to offload weapons. All right. Boop. Boop. Okay, so why is... Wait. Oh, that is the Wise Owl Sword. Well, I don't have enough money. Maybe I can get some more by doing this, though. That is just too much bread. Okay, do not sell the gourd. I'd be such a sad camper if I did that. Maybe it won't even let me. Yeah, you're right. He does have a plant buster. We might want to buy a bunch of those. How are we on this? Because I don't really want the new weapon because I can't fit it. The Lost Odyssey is another absolute, absolutely fantastic game that was kind of lost to the ages. The final, it was the Final Fantasy team and on 360. But it's only available in the Xbox Store. But at least they're one of the few consoles that keep fairly steady on price. And can you... Can you play Lost Odyssey on the Xbox One? Let's see, do you need both Chris swords? I don't, but I'm hoping to get this this Chris knife up to level 5 so I can merge it down into another weapon. So I don't need them, but they're good stat sticks if I have the chance to grind. I'm hoping we can get level powder at some point, but I haven't seen it go by. Well, time to buy a bunch of plant busters, because we need, like, all of them? I have multiple weapons that need it. Ooh! Yeah, right, we did get the Beast Buster. The other 360 RPG you hear about is Blue Dragon. I heard about the anime for Blue Dragon. I didn't actually know that they, uh, had, had a 360 version. Uh, I do want to buy, like, two more repair powders. Just, yeah. There we go. make a good synth orb. It doesn't need to necessarily be a good synth orb. I just want to chuck it onto another weapon so I do a ton of damage. This play looks great. Are you using emulation or capture card? Capture card. I've got a Elgato 4K whatever uh, put in my PC. I'm just playing this off of the PS5. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so we want this one. So it still needs thunder, not fire. And plant. Did I put fire on? No, thunder and plant. Okay, good. So I guess we can go back to leveling this thing now, now that I've got tons. I thought it was OG PSU. I'm a nerd for PSU display options. I wish. I wish I could actually get that hooked up. Wait, where am I going? Oh. Where am I going? Is this just dumping me on the first floor? Nope. Alright, we're good. Perfect. 